Howdy everyone, and we are back. So you can see here, this area here, the garage is what I've been dealing with, but that's been handled and I've got more work to do on it. But while I'm waiting on my brick guy to show up, I've decided to come back and uh, get the plane back out and continue on working. So as usual, it's been a while. I don't remember what I had videotaped last, so this is going to be kind of a quick recap. So the plane is, is out and leveled, and you can see that the wings are on, and make note that there is nothing supporting the wings themselves. It's just the fuselage that's being supported. The wings are bolted in place with four bolts, and I have no supports underneath them. The reason is when you do your leveling, you want to level the fuselage. You don't want to use the wings and prop the wings up to get the fuselage level. You want this, again, as real world as real world as you can get it. So the fuselage is leveled, and you don't worry about what the wings are doing. Once they're bolted in place, they're bolted in place. Level the fuselage. So the fuselage is leveled laterally, and it's also leveled, I guess this would be longitudinal, longitudinally, I don't know. But it's leveled in both axes, uh, across the wingtips and then fore and aft. So with it leveled, I have the plumb bobs in place. I've got one at the wing root here. I've got one at the wingtip there. I've only got two plumb bobs. So what I've decided to do was stick some tape on the floor. And wherever the plumb bob comes down and meets the tape, or almost meets the tape, I put a little dot. And then I take the two plumb bobs and I move them over to the other wing. And I do the same thing. I hang one off of the root. I hang one off of the tip. And then where it comes down, I put a mark on my tape where the plumb bob comes down. At that point, I went ahead and I stretched a line across the dot here that represents the wing tip. I put some tape down to hold it in place, and then I came across, and I've stretched it taut. And I've positioned the line over top of my dot on this piece of tape, and then taped it down. So it's a nice straight line. It's not hung up on the concrete or anything like that. So now it's touching this dot, and it runs straight across. And it is touching the other wing tip dot back here. And then you look at your wing root locations. And you can see with this plumb bob in place, the string is pretty much almost directly under the plumb bob here. And then this location here, you can see that it is over the dot here. or close to it. I can't even tell. So I'm happy with that. I had some forward sweep. So you can imagine if the wing is swept forward, it would move that plumb bob forward. And then the string at your root locations would be forward. And I had that. I had about an inch on this wing root and this wing root here, the string was moved forward about an inch. So that tells me that the wing tips were brought out this way. So what I had to do, I, I ended up realizing that these, these pieces that come out from the fuselage, there's this bar here and there's a bar on the other side. When you look at the reflection of the skin, you could see where this bar up inside here was touching the wing rib. And you could see that in the reflection. So I ended up taking the wings off and on this bar, this one and the one behind it, I trimmed the ends off a little shorter, which allowed the wing to come back toward the fuselage. I had a pretty good gap between the fuselage skin and the end of the aft spar of both wings. 
you can see now they're almost touching the skin. They're not quite touching this domed rivet, but they're awfully close to it. Some people will put a, um, a flush head rivet here to give them more clearance, but if this, for me, if this rear spar is going to rub on anything, I'd rather have it rub on a rivet than rub on the entire skin. But it's not. It's not touching either one. Both wings are the same. I got just a hair of clearance in here. And the wings, like I said, have moved like this once I removed the extra material that was interfering on these bars here. So by doing that, I got rid of the forward sweep. And like I said, this string is pulled tight and it's, it's awfully close. It's almost dead on. So I'm happy with that. The other thing that I had done is the, the instructions tell you to run a line just like you did for the tail. You pick a center location on, on the aft end back here and then you run a tape measure to a known point on the wing tip and take a measurement. And then you do the same thing on the other side. From that central point, you run it over to the wing tip. And those two measurements should be the same. And mine are, I forgot exactly what the number is. It's like 168 inches, 168 and 5 sixteenths or something like that. But they are both the same. So those measurements are the same. Using my line here, there's no sweep on the wings, and the fuselage is level in two dimensions. Now, when you read through the written instructions, they walk you through a little bit of that in general. But what's really super helpful is this. This I got off of their website, off of the uh, Vans Aircraft website. And it is wing incidents drilling simplified. And they kind of go over what I just talked about. And the one thing that they talk about um, is the forward sweep or any kind of sweep. And it says that um, you should put the level on the main spar, the center spar, like I have mine here. You can use something across the longer rods, but they recommend that you use something here, which is what I did. And then I actually used a digital level as well. The other thing that they talk about is the forward sweep. And it says here, it says if there is minimal, and then it says get real, less than a half inch of sweep fore or aft, then move on. So I obviously have a lot less than a half inch of sweep, as you can see with my, uh, my plumb bob. So I am not going to split hairs. I am more than happy with that. And again, as I said, everything is level. There's no sweep. And then those dimensions from wingtip to tail and wingtip to tail. Those are exactly the same. So next step is working on the wing incidents, which I'm going to do now. And as I work through it and get that figured out, I'll come back and we'll talk about it. All right. Talk to you guys later.